Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. guys welcome back to day two of build war so we read your comments on the last video build day one was a pretty insane production right so we're working with the project prime guys they actually came in and shot the entire video yesterday built the intros built all the live action really cool cinematic scenes we wanted to see how you guys reacted i pinned a post a ton of you guys responded and there were some mixed responses a lot of you loved it some of you were saying whoa, this is way too much like TV for us. We want to go back to the old, down-to-earth Cletus style, and I want you guys to know that we don't want this to feel like you're watching a TV show, but this works out so good for when we're doing these big projects. Or maybe in the future for Rocky Mountain Race Week, we'd love to have a production style. Do you like this? This definitely isn't permanent. We're just doing it for the build-off. I think it turned out freaking awesome. I hope you guys liked it. For those of you who don't like it, hang out for a week. It should be fun. We're going to try and mix in a little bit more GoPro shots to bring things back a little bit for you. But otherwise, the production has been insane. We're super excited to be working on a level like this. I feel like things have gotten really legitimate around here. I mean, the production is just insane. But it's all going to go back to normal in a week. So don't fret, guys. But for now, let's get over there. We got some live action for you today. Let's get into it. I just got a call from a guy who's got CBR 1000, so it's called Ready to Run Motorsports. We're heading there right now. It is 10 o'clock at night, and this guy is getting his motorcycle out for me so I can take it and have it at the shop in the morning for the guys. And we gotta do this tonight, baby. 1500 bucks, let's make it happen. Midnight, just pulled up to a place called Ready to Run Motorsports. This guy's got a bike. This is a machine, huh? Got a ripper here, boys. Hopefully it runs. We're gonna find out. I uh, got a hold of him today. and He's saying, you know, it might run, and we gotta get up here and start it up, make sure it's good to go. So we're gonna try and get it running here in a minute. What are you saying? The start, the tip over sensor is the problem. Well, we got some open wires here. We're gonna have to track down and figure out. So sort that out, and then you know, give me hopefully a few. she fires up. Yeah, give me a few minutes with it. We'll get it. We'll get yeah, it dude, she's bad though. All right, guys, we're gonna try. We're gonna give this thing some power real quick. See what happens. Got to hold the fuel line on because we're missing a clip. So um, our tip over switch, Honda likes green and Honda likes red. So like these two right here. No, dude, it's, it's not leaking. Yeah. Yeah, try it. Dude, look at this. Guy. <laughs> All right, where's our? Where's our baby at? Where is she? That's it right there. That's it. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh! You'll get in there? Oh! Oh! We didn't, oh, we didn't throttle, man. Oh, what 10 minutes. It kind of sounded like it was like, bro, 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 like, bro, that gas is over a year old. You don't At think least. it's down compression on? Oh, bro, that sounded healthy. You think so? That okay. Healthy. I, I promise you that sound is so healthy. Okay. Think about it right now. Ancient gas. Yeah. yeah. And gas these days goes bad after a month. Can we, can we give her a little throttle just for yeah, the video? Yeah, yeah. Come is on. This, okay. We gotta give her, you gotta, you gotta give her a little something, okay. something. You know what I'm saying, dude? Hit some gas this time. There we go. You want to throttle it? Yeah, oh! <laughs> oh, dude! Yo, that's ancient gas. Oh my god! Yeah, all the cobwebs. 
Dude, hell yeah. Yo, some fresh gas. Hey, man, for real. This is awesome, dude. <laughs> Knocked it out so fast. Talk dude. about a barn find, man. You see that green dust on that thing? Yeah, we got the barn find CBR. Yeah. That's ready to run dust, you see? Yeah, dude. Shout yeah, out to Ready to Run dust. Motorsports. <laughs> All right, guys, back to the shop. We got the bike, got to load it up. It's a killer deal, too. So we're, we got some money left in the budget after this, but we got to make it happen. Shout out to Ready to Run, dude. Stayed up late to help make this happen, so we're gonna have the right motor for sure. Alright boys, we got a bike. Hell yeah, CBR 1000, 2012. Runs, picked it up last night, left there about 2 a.m. Dang. Things ready to rip, Coop. Dude, wait till, oh. you, wait till you, I mean, clearly it doesn't burn out. <laughs> Dude, wait till you hear it. It sounds so crazy. I'm sure it looks like it sounds pretty wild. I don't know if we're gonna be able to go golfing with this golf cart. It's got a straight pipe on it with an aftermarket header, so. That's easy enough, we'll just go anyways. You know, late at night. Let's we'll tell the golf course, you know, listen, we're here to do it for Dale. We're going golfing. Let's get this thing unloaded. Looks like Kevin's is getting cleaned up a little bit over here and we're gonna be ready to rip, pull this motor out, start getting it mounted up in the golf cart. Yeah. You know, we're going eighth. Hey, you don't worry. I know, it's only eighth, so. We're going 130 in the eighth. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you hear it, bro. Uh, it's got an aftermarket header and so on. Just listen to it now, because it ain't going to sound the same when you get it in there. Hell yeah, brother! Shaking, bro. Yeah, dude, he's pissed. He's about to call a cousin or something. Home Depot would have like a brass yeah. nipple thing, just and then a just union, yeah, yeah. Last thing. Or that there. might be where we tap in to get our um, our fuel side of our nitrous. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Well, this hmm. guy. Hmm. Boys, I don't know if we're gonna need nitrous. <laughs> Look at that aftermarket header on. It's not whether or not you need it. Well, as James always says, you do always need. Our goal for the day is to get as much fab stuff done as possible because we won't have Kevin for the next few days after that. And he's our lead fabricator here. So if we get him to knock a bunch of stuff out, we'll be in good shape to kind of finish up all the little stuff the next few days. So we're thinking we might put it on the passenger side and then put the driver on the driver's side. Right now the seat's kind of centered, but that would help balance because I mean, what does this thing weigh? 300 pounds? Yeah, probably. A little less than that. Okay. Yeah. Well then that's even better. So uh, we're just going to go get some wood and make a little quick little jig to just square the front to the back. So like giving it alignment kind of. And then that'll tell us where we can exactly mount the motor so our chain's straight. Because if our chain ain't straight and we're going, it'll either fling the chain, if the rear end is kind of crooked, then while we're driving, it's going to be at high speed, it'll be spooky to drive, so that's what I think. <laughs> uh -oh. Surprised there's not a turbo as big as the back of the truck. There might be. I think I just went and got lumber. From the lumber yard. Are they using wood to build some of their stuff? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's the spirit of the challenge here. I almost think too, like if with the motor there we can we can make it to where you shift with your right hand. 
That's what just, that's what I was thinking. Well, I mean, just flip this lever up, make a tab for it, and just like right here. Bah, 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 bah. So right now, we have been working on our sprocket assembly here. You can see, we got an aluminum plate. We're gonna put the sprocket through bolted like that. Gotta finish welding it out, we had a problem with our welder. Then we got our wheel hubs here, which we are kind of stepping up in a way to have a larger bolt pattern to work on the stock golf cart wheels. And we're gonna get some junior jacks for tires, put them on those golf cart wheels, but they're going to lay these right now, make sure they are nice and centered and straight squared up so that we don't have any wobble at I don't know 100 mile an hour in the eighth so <laughs> gotta do it right you can yeah. see here <laughs> we <laughs> spent <laughs> this is sharp dude he's out behind me we'll put Cletus County Jail <laughs> wasn't in on every decision here we spent a lot God's, more than I imagined got spicy yeah we definitely got Dude, I mean, bent over a barrel a little bit but whoa we got thousands of seasons, we, dude. we do have a full liter of displacement. That's right. That's but, right. Full liter. <laughs> well, we have like 820 bucks, 810 bucks left now. 800 and change. Yeah. I think we got. We don't really have a ton left. But that seems like enough to get it done. Yeah, it is enough to get it done. We 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 got pretty much everything. If we come in under budget, what do we do with the money? Dude, this is honestly ridiculous. Why are we buying spaghetti sauce on the team budget? Dude, why are we buying this on the team budget, Coop? We gotta go fast, dude. We can't just be buying spaghetti sauce, man. Oh, dude, we gotta hire for Bronte. She looks at my freaking right. expenses. Okay, yeah, that's true. His girlfriend looks at his credit card. All right, we'll let this one slide. Yeah. But other than that, I think we did pretty good, dude. We're in good standings. I thought Definitely everyone was in good gonna blow through the money really fast. Uh, you know, but Emilio is so resourceful with all this cousins. Yeah, they spent like 40 bucks. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> they got everything. <laughs> They spent, they, what, what are you guys at? We spent about like 12 or 13 to 1400 I think right now. Not okay. that much. Damn, so like, they still yeah, have, they like, have over half their budget yeah. left. Well, we well, have well, less well. than a third. So, yeah, we a but we got more well. displacement. We got more power. They definitely have room to modify theirs. So that leaves more yeah. turbo kids. Yeah. 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 Leaves them some cash for like some uh, really gas just and just some just turbos, yeah. I guess. You think this is good? Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. Our sprocket is finally done. Kevin is burning in the engine. The motor mounts for about you know, 25 minutes of measuring and welding two more tabs, and we're going to have us a mounted motor. Hell yeah. And then it's rear end time, so put the rear end sort of ready to go, but they're going to be mocking up for a little while. but. Working on the hubs, Coop's working on the fuel tank, which is right here. We're gonna try and use this stock tank because it's already ready to go. I want the frame rail to be out as close to the, I want the bearings to end up right behind the hubs. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Well, these rails will hold one bearing and then as close to this as we can get, we'll have another one. Oh yeah, for sure. But the yeah, so we'll have three bearings on our axle guys for extra support. Yes. But I, you know, we can angle this however we need to or come down and tie to this. Okay. We need there to figure is. out where the center is. Yeah, but this is, I mean, from here, if you look, how close are you to like center on that deal? Center on what deal? On well, you can't off of this, like. You guys, you guys gotta go left. Yeah, we're, that's about. We're gonna end up turning the exhaust to go over the tire too, because it's gonna be blowing right at the back of the tire. Yeah, the exhaust is. Uh, uh, we'll just be. do a little. Yeah, yeah. I want to shoot some fire. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the freaking mounts look awesome. Oh, spicy. It might, it might be a little warm <laughs> still. <laughs> it's in there. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm going to burn, I'm going to burn some more of this and then... <clears throat> you ready to put the rear end in? Hope so. Look at that, dude. We got a freaking axle coming together. How much engagement are you thinking is going to be enough into that hub? Well, so the hub? I want it all the way through, like okay. when we're done. But I, if we push this in now, I'm worried we don't get it back off. Yeah. So if we can get some calipers, let's measure how deep it's in here so we can set it even. So then that way when we're centering the rear end, 
we're actually centering the axle and stuff. Okay. Guys, check this out. We got the factory gas pedal from the goat. Golf cart working. Wop, wop. <laughs> wop, wop, wop. How's it oh, gonna yeah. sound? Wop, wop, wop. <laughs> it's getting late, but we're, we're freaking knocking this stuff out, dude. Hell yeah. Damn, look at that. Is it just tack welded yeah, in right now? Yeah, okay. we've just got room to do. Can we pick it up and roll it a little hey, bit? You definitely Whoa. need to stop. Yeah. Because knowing James, if he drives it, he's breaking that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go up just a smidge? Nope. Oh, okay. Like this, that's not done at all. Oh, okay. I just wanted to roll it. It's exciting to see it like that. It's not a roller yet. So hey, bro, can you... Uh, oh, I'll flip on the other side. All right. Just see the line? <laughs> see that crack in the floor? <laughs> Stay on the other side of that. <laughs> all right, Kevin, is it time? Are you about to weld this? Yes. Rear yeah. axle in here for good? Yep. That's our BR start, and then we'll do some more racing. Oh, yeah. Definitely going to need some more. Motor mounts, do a tab for the exhaust. I think we're going to have to move the exhaust. That's a tire fire right there. It's a tire warmer. <laughs> All right. There we go. Axle's going in. Nice, clean metal. Really takes a nice weld. So, guys, one thing we did is we took the time to take the front end apart so that we can straighten up steering wheel down the center because the driver kind of sits towards the middle right where Kevin is. He's up against the airbox right now. We might have to cut the seat a little bit and move it in, but trying to center this up, but we're kind of running into some trouble with the U-joint. We'll get it figured out. Actually, if the seat was a little crooked like this, you like it? It's not, yeah, because then my right foot isn't going to have to do that. You guys about to fire this we're thing up already? <laughs> you, you ready? Right here. Holy crap. <laughs> too, so we're just going to jump the solenoid right there. You ready? We're not, we need that. Golfing, dude. <laughs> we can go golfing. When's the tea time? <laughs> I'm setting it up, dude. We're going. Dude, the Booster Boys are killing it. We're definitely behind, so we're on crunch time. We only got three days left, but we're gonna make this freaking happen, dude. Things are looking really good on our machine. Got the axle ready to be put in for last time, and yeah, the freaking sight. Well, boys, another late night. Got this thing pretty far. It is a Roller now, engine mounted. All right, guys, look at this. Got some really nice bearings too. So the only thing that's not done is this third bearing. It's gonna be mounted right here next to the sprocket to supply extra strength right here where there's gonna be the most tension from the chain on that sprocket. I don't know, I think it's good, dude. It's so hard to say, but. Stand up and look at him when he's bouncing on from this angle. See, see from the that tire or something moving, but yeah, the wheel's definitely moving. Wheels moving or the hub? yeah, like you can see the wheel bend in. Oh boy, <laughs> see what happens. All right, guys, we're calling it a night. We'll be back in the morning. <laughs> 